I was in a group chat today that had a few members in it, but there were at least two different countries represented. And one of the questions that came up was, what do you feel about American politics? And my answer was sickle cell anemia. What? Somebody asks you what you think of American politics and your answer is sickle cell anemia? Okay, I'm gonna need an explanation on this one. So let me explain. little bit of background on biology for you. Blood type is codominant, which means that if you have the gene for hemoglobin that codes for the normal hemoglobin, and you also have the gene that codes for the sickle-shaped hemoglobin, which causes the blood cells, I know, mommy moved you, to be either these cute little biconcave breath saver looking things like they're supposed to look like, or these sickle shaped things that they're not supposed to look like. Now this happens in a low oxygen environment. So once you get into the veins, they look pretty normal when they're in the arteries, but once you get into the veins, they start looking like sickles. This gets blocked in veins. This gets clogged in all in the blood vessels. This causes anemia. This is not an advantage, but it persisted in the swampy areas, which means that somewhere along the way, it had to be an advantage in those areas. It did not persist in the mountains, which means it was not advantageous in those areas. And what he discovered was that if a person had this particular genome, then that person did not catch malaria. These are the people who did not catch malaria. These are the people who also did not have the problems, the major problems with sickle cell anemia. They were sickle cell trait. However, people with this genome caught malaria and died. People with this genome had sickle cell disease and died. But the people that had both alleles, they survived because half of their blood cells were the cute little biconcave breath saver looking things that they were supposed to be and half of their blood cells were these sickle shaped things that interrupted the life cycle of the plasmodium that causes malaria. Why is this a problem? I'll explain. If your parents are sickle cell trait, and remember these are the people who made it to reproductive age, then the offspring are going to have these genomes. H normal, H sickle, H sickle, H sickle. This child, 25% statistically speaking of the children, have normal red blood cells and nothing but normal red blood cells and they catch malaria and die. This set of children, 25% of the offspring, have nothing but sickle shaped blood cells and uh, they have sickle cell anemia and die. These, this 50% of your offspring, are the ones that are also like you. They carry both alleles. These, this 50% of your offspring, are the ones that will survive to reproductive maturity, which is why sickle cell persists in swamps. These genomes are the ones that make it to reproductive age. In the swamps, this is the advantageous genome. This is the solution that evolution had for malaria. As solutions go, I will give you, not the greatest, half your kids die. Not the greatest solution. Hmm. Maybe that's just me, but I think a lot of people would agree that half of your kids dying is not a great solution. The problem is evolution works on what's available in the genome. Evolution works on the genetic mutations that already exist in the normal genome of a population. The greater the genetic diversity, the more likely there is to be a good solution. But if you don't have a lot of genetic diversity, evolution has to work on what it's got. There's a limited number of mutations that persist and evolution worked on what it had. This is not what we would call the best solution, but this is the best available solution. This is what existed in the genome that would allow people to live in the swamps and reproduce and survive as a population. So sickle cell anemia persisted 
in the swampy areas of these continents. And that's what the doctor found. The original question is, what do you think of American politics? The answer is sickle cell. We can think of numerous possibilities that we would like to see as solutions to the American political problem. But there are two available options. All the highfalutin ideas that people have about third parties and better candidates, yeah, they sound good, but they're not available. They don't exist in the genome. We have two choices. One of these parties believes in acceptance. This channel is all about acceptance of people who are diverse. I am neurodiverse. I have been unaccepted my entire life. This channel is all about accepting people. One of these two parties believes in accepting people. One of these two parties believes in allowing people to be who they are. One of these two parties believes that you can love who you want to love. One of these two parties that believes that you should have control over your body, regardless of your gender. One of these two parties believes that everybody should have a vo vote in this nation. One of these two parties believes that people should be treated with respect which means that one of these two parties is the best available solution because any other thing that you can think of is not a reality. It's not available. It is not something that is going to happen with the system that we currently have. If we want to fix the system we currently have, we have to start with the best available solution. Can we think of better solutions? Yes, but they don't exist in the world. Well, they don't exist in the country. There are better solutions that we can think of to malaria, but the only solution that existed was sickle cell. We can think of better solutions to the American political problem, but the only possible solution that exists is to vote for one of these two parties. And if you believe in acceptance, and if you believe that grown people should be allowed to make decisions for themselves, if you believe that people should be able to love who they want to love and not be persecuted for it, if you believe that people should be able to read whatever book they want, if you believe that people should be allowed to say that they love a particular gender and not worry about people saying, oh, well, you're not allowed to love them. If you want a country that is run by people and not churches, then we have one available solution. What do you think of American politics? Sickle cell, sickle cell anemia. You gotta go with the best available solution. You may not like it all. It may not be what you'd wanna see, but it's what's available. Look at that cute little face. Look at that cute little face that's totally in my way. You have to move. You have to move. Vlogmas Day 5. I will see you tomorrow.